Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the author of What is WebSphere? I'm also the webmaster of MCNZ.com and uh, SCJ.com as well. So if you want to get Java certified, pick up a couple of copies of my book, charge them to your boss, um, head over to my website, do some of the free mock certification exams. And uh, while you're there, it costs a lot of money to support the site. So uh, click on a Google ad or, ad or two, um, check out what our sponsors are up to, and uh, help support the site. Anyways, one of the things I wanted to talk about right now was, was simply the idea of action processing inside of a portlet. Certain things shouldn't be done inside of uh, the do view method of a portlet. Things like state management, um, changing the, the window state, or the, the mode of a portlet. In fact, those things can't even be done in the render phase, the do view method of a portlet. Um, as a result, uh, a portlet has something called a, an event processing stage that we can access. So I can create a new portlet project, and I'm going to call it um, state shifting action. State shifting action, sure, why not? And, uh, oh, whoops, or portal 5 stub. 5.1 stub, not that it really matters too much. Anyways, I'm going to create a basic JSR 168 portlet. Actually, I'm going to create an empty portlet. I hate that basic portlet stuff. And uh, basically go through the basic standard things here. I'm going to call my portlet state shifter. And I'm just look, actually looking at some of the hacked code that I have. I usually call things state shifter portlet, but I actually called it just state shifter in this example. So I'll fill out all these things here, change the code generation, and put this in com.examscan.portlet, and call this particular portlet the state shifter. No white space at the end of it. And that all looks good to me. Um, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an example from my book. Um, I like to do this just to make sure that uh, all the code in my book does in fact compile and work properly. And so I'm going to take this basic code that they give me here and just paste in my own code. And uh, all v, there we go. And here is my salacious and beautiful code for my state shifter. And basically see what I have is a, a portlet with a do view method. And what does this do view method do? Well, it doesn't do anything except provide markup generation for the client. So it tells the client you're going to get some HTML. Um, that HTML is basically just going to have a link in it. So ahref equals end a. That's just the tags for creating an HTML link. And inside the link, it's going to say the words state shift. Um, and that state shift is actually going to be associated with the URL that is created right up here. And that URL is actually an action URL, a special type of portlet URL that's associated with an action. And in fact, I'm going to associate it with a particular name called shift. And the value of that is just going to be true. Don't like using the word true there because it's kind of a reserved keyword, but it's in quotes, so that's okay. Now, essentially, when somebody clicks on this link for state shift, what's going to happen is it's going to trigger an action because it is an action URL. So we've created an act portlet URL that's associated with an action. When somebody clicks on an action URL, that triggers the process action method of a portlet. And in our process action method, what we're going to do is we're going to query the state of our window. So we're going to say request.getWindowState, assuming that the action is associated with the word shift, which is that up there. We're going to query the window, request.getWindowState. And if we're told that the state is currently normal, well, we'll maximize it. If it's maximized, we'll minimize it. And uh, for that matter, if it's minimized, we'll put it back into the normal state. Now, actually, that won't work. Don't tell anybody that won't work. Because um, if it's minimized, it's not going to do anything. Anyways, because uh, if it's minimized, that link up there simply won't display. Uh, but anyways, it's, uh, it's a cute little portlet. Nevertheless, uh, my test environment is stopped. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click on this, say run on server, allow my WebSphere Portal 5.1 test environment to run. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to take a look at my website, click on some Google Ads, um, maybe purchase a couple of books from Amazon as this is starting up, and uh, then inspect what my state shifter portlet is up to. Okay, and now I actually have my state shifter appear. I'm going to click on that state shift button, 
the window is in regular mode. Notice how the window has maximized. Now when it's maximized, it will send me into the minimized mode. Okay. Now I actually can't click on the link from the minimized mode, so I'll just click this restore button. When I go to restore, I see it again, and it takes me to the maximized window. And of course, when I click on this link, what's happening is it's triggering the process action method. In the process action method, we're realizing that this particular action has a parameter called shift associated with it, which isn't null. And what we do is we change the window state. And so that's about it. Um, but it gives you an idea of how we can, first of all, trigger an action URL, trigger an action in our portlet, and then handle that portlet, and not only handle it, but also read in some parameters from the URL as well, which is very important. And it demonstrates the idea of the different portlet states that are available to our portlets, maximized, minimized, and normal. And in fact, actually you can have custom window states uh, implemented by your portal server, um, just like you can have custom modes. Um, of course, uh, if you try and move to one and your portal doesn't support it, you end up with a window state exception, wasn't it, which isn't a good thing. Now that's it, about it for now. Uh, I do want to emphasize, I uh, would appreciate it if you headed to my website and picked up a couple of copies of What is WebSphere? Maybe even the SCJ certification guides. Get yourself certified in a hurry. Um, the best books on the market. Take some of my free online exams. Take a look at some of my multimedia tutorials on www.mcnz.com. Um, and uh, while you're there, maybe even click on a Google ad or two and uh, just kind of help support the site. It costs us a lot to, to run this site, and uh, visiting our sponsors definitely helps. That's about it. And the last thing I'm going to say is, happy portal.